Oh yes, you've got a dready here in the left hand side. <laughs> Morning guys, had a good sleep night's sleep last night. We are about to go visit the cheetahs. I'm not gonna take this mic, big mic with because uh, can you see? Can you see that in the see this big giant ball here? Well it looks just like a cheetah, so got the GoPro strapped on so I can get some nice cheetah intensive shots if you will. <laughs> Chica, and the, the chica is the main one. Okay. Let's sniff us a bit. It's so cute still. I know. I love that pair. I know. If I had the big mic on, you'd be able to hear it. It's still so strange being close to wild animals like this. Like, you still know they're wild, even though they're tame. <laughs> oh, the male's a lot bigger, hey? Yeah, this one we saw are the big one, you know? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Do you know me? Do you remember me from last time? <laughs> Hello. She's fine, Liv. She gets my heart right go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Sniff it. it. Smells like my cat. <laughs> and I'm. What is there? Bosch lace on your on your thing. Eh? Your bosch lace. He's happy now. It's a lot, bro. <laughs> Oh, he would love my cat at home. <laughs> He'd get along so well. Don't know if Clutch would agree. Hey, baby. Oh, yes. There we go. Much less scary when you're lying down. That's funny. So, they, so they've obviously never killed their own food yeah. because they've always been in captivity. Uh, that was epic guys, that was so cool. If you ever come to Namibia, you have to, or to Marental, make the trip down to La Palanga and come play with the cheetahs. They're so chilled. When you go in there in the beginning, you're like, hmm, these are actually wild animals. But that was very cool. I got some amazing shots, which I'm gonna use later and pretend like I saw those cheetahs in the wild. No, I'm just kidding. I almost didn't even do that. So the guide told us a story about how they let them out once while they were still big. Um, like a year back or whatever, they let them out into the camp. So they roam around here, yeah, whatever you guys have seen, like they, they just walk around. They did that and a little while later, they saw that one of their very expensive black springworks had disappeared. And the cheetahs actually caught it and dragged it into the field. But they didn't kill it because they don't know how to hunt. So they just, they were just kind of playing with it and like messing around with it and stuff. So that was actually quite cool, cool story. It's nice not to have to pack up camp for once, isn't it? Mm, it's just nice to, just to chill and... You relax, yeah. Yeah. What are we going to do now? Pool. Yeah. Get some tan on, relax, and then maybe make a fire.
So, as relaxed as we are right now, me and Nick are deciding whether we should do overlanding or like a camping style trip in Australia. What do you guys think? Comment below if you think we should do it. Her argument is, my argument is that I like overland because I like looking at animals or finding animals. It's interesting. How interesting. I don't even uh, see animals. Can I just make my point? Uh, I'm not. I'm I'll, just saying it'll be nice and relaxing. There's a, some ducks. That's what you like the most. There's a black spring rock. Two rhinos. Three giraffes and a baby giraffe right there in front of a whole water hole. Don't get that in Australia. Why would I want to go do an overlanding trip there? Just drive into the middle of nowhere, look at Uluru, and then leave. Because that's all there is to see, isn't all it? All I'm saying is greatish. All the Aussies are going to be pissed at me now. Yeah, I see. There's more to see than that in our country. Uh, we're very relaxed today. This has been an amazing day. I shot a little bit of a, like a short, quick promo video type thing for these guys this afternoon. I'm going to go shoot again with the cheetahs when the sun is all the way down um, just to get some nice light and maybe fly the drone as well again and then we're going to call it a day Liffy, we're going to travel in Australia? Yes No What is the point of travel? Oh, here she goes again Okay, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll go travel in Australia Thank you. Off to Japan. Japan. Alright, let's end the vlog. Vegas. Let's end the vlog. Yeah, let's let's end the vlog. We're just gonna keep going with Vegas and Japan and all the other places that we want to go to. See you guys tomorrow for a beautiful session at where are we going? Sauces Sauces Flay. Say bye Liffy. Bye Liffy. Ciao guys. Striped polecat, pointed snout, white patches on forehead and cheeks, black with four striking white stripes along body. Nocturnal, depends. Right next to you. He's right there, holy crap. Have you got him? He's gonna skunk me, bro.